Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Grounded in Purpose. My name is Kara, and in this video, I am going to talk about Enneagrams. I ain't got no type, yes you do. So let's go right into it. So let me tell you, first of all, my Enneagram results, they read me to absolute filth. Let me just start by saying that, okay? Um, I have taken several different types of personality tests. I've done the Meyer Briggs. Um, I've done like value assessments. I've done a lot of different things and I feel like I've gotten value from all of them. But the level of value that I have gotten from the actual Enneagram is second to none, at least from my personal experience. I would love you guys to share your personal experience. So just to give a little context, what is an Enneagram? So again, just like a lot of different personality tests, your Enneagram, it breaks down personalities into nine different types. The thing is that we all possess a percentage of these different personality types, but you should have a few that are more dominating. So you should have like a top three that pretty much speak to, to who you are and just kind of some of your thoughts and um, the way that you process certain things. And so I'll jump right into the nine types. So you have number one, number one is the reformer. Then you have number two, which is the helper. Then you have number three, which is the achiever. Number four, the individualist. Number five, the investigator. Number six, the loyalist. Number seven, the enthusiast. Number eight, the challenger. And number nine, the peacemaker. And let me just say, I'm, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity because I'm going to make this a short series where I go into all nine types of the Enneagram. But before I start the actual series, I want to give you guys an opportunity, if you have not already, to go ahead and take an Enneagram test for yourself. So I am going to leave some links for you, free ones, which give you like a smaller assessment and then the paid version of the link as well just so we can talk about it. Like, you guys, this is good. This is some good stuff. And it can get really, 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 really deep. And so I want to explore the Enneagram types with you guys. And I want you guys to share with me after you do um, your actual Enneagram um, test, share with me what you found out, okay? And if you want to wait until your number appears for that series to kind of share how you resonate with your dominant number, go ahead and do that. But when I tell you guys, like, I'm really excited to go into the Enneagram, the Enneagram, hey, hey, the Enneagram, hey, hey. But yeah, so I just wanted to stop by, let you guys know I'm starting this series and I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say and i can't wait to hear i feel like there's a lot of breakthrough that can occur through these enneagrams especially when we start talking about like our true self and our false self and some of those inherent beliefs that we have that were ingrained in us as children that we still hold on to as adults right so i feel like especially i'm a millennial but millennials my generation uh z uh, the elemental P's, all of us can gain something from the Enneagram. And so, like I said, I think it's a great place to start and I can't wait to explore with you guys. But I hope you guys have a very blessed week and I will be checking in with you guys soon. So we'll be going in order next week. I'll be talking about number one and then we're gonna go up to number nine and I want you guys to guess which one I am. So we'll talk about it. All right, bye-bye.